busing in Fairlight, it mixes multiple signals into a single signal. So think of it like a group channel. Busing can be everything from mono, stereo, 5.1, or even really large formats like Dolby Atmos 9.1.6. The key here is control. A single bus channel strip lets you control the combined levels and processing for all the contributing tracks and other buses. Working on big projects, organization is huge. So let's say for instance, you have five dialogue tracks, route them all into a single dialogue submix bus. Now you can control process and adjust all dialogue at once with a single fader. From there, you can build complex mixes by routing the submix buses into main buses. This allows for structured mixing, processing groups, and controlling the final output. All right, so to create a bus, go up to Fairlight and then go to Bus Format. Here's the list. Let's click Add Bus. You can click over here, rename it, choose your format from the drop down, stereo, five, one, whatever you need. Once you set the format, you can give it a color. We'll click OK. Now you have a bus. So to assign a track to a bus over here in the track strips in the mixer, we'll click the plus icon in the bus output section, select your destination bus from the drop down, and that's it. The track's output is now going to that bus. That's great for routing a single track, but you're more than likely going to want to route significantly more tracks at once. So let me set up the example here. We'll throw in 50 tracks. From here, let's go through and select all the tracks we want to assign. This time when we go to assign our tracks, we're going to hold Alt. And just like last time, we're going to click on the plus to one of the tracks that we want to assign, select our bus. Now, as you can see, all of the tracks were assigned that bus. Now for more complex assignments, we'll be using the bus assign window, clicking Fairlight, then bus assign. It's pretty easy to use. If yours looks different than mine, that's perfectly fine. At the top here, there's two different options for views. And so to use this tool, it's pretty easy. We'll first select a bus, and then we can come down and select all the tracks we want that particular selected bus to be mapped to. You can click and drag if you want to do multiples at once and then just click again to unassign. You also have options for patching audio inputs for recording or bus outputs to physical speakers. You can get to that by going up to Fairlight then patch input output. By default, it shows the audio inputs on the left and then the track inputs on the right. Select your source, then select your destination and then click patch. If you just want to hear the mix of a specific bus, on the left for the source, we're gonna to go to bus output. For the destination dropdown, let's go to audio output, make your selection, then click patch. There's a slightly easier way of doing this by using the quick patch helper. In the mixer, on your selected track, you can click right here and then click input. The same window opens up, set up for recording. All you need to do from there is select your input device and click patch. If you were to click the bus, that opens up for bus to track patching. And then the final option in that dropdown is the patch settings that let you adjust the input levels. A couple of pro tips if you dive deep into audio, everything I've been showing you is under the flex bus umbrella. And it's been that way for a number of years. It's now the default. But if you open up an older project, you might be dealing with a different bus configuration now deemed as the legacy fix bus. There is absolutely no advantage of using the old method. It's just really in DaVinci Resolve still to this day for backwards compatibility with older projects. If you want to see if your project is using the legacy fix bus, you can do that by going into the project settings, which is clicking on the gear, clicking on Fairlight, and then you can see if it's using the fix bus. But like I said, there's absolutely no reason to use the legacy fix bus. Use the flex bus. It gives you complete user flexibility and allows you, the user, to define your track to bus, bus to bus, or even bus to track routing. You can direct the signal to many different places simultaneously and then route your full mix into one bus. And then this is the best part. Then you can split that bus into two or more, each with completely different processing. For example, if we have to deliver to two different networks and they both have completely different loudness standards or route tracks via surround planers to buses configured for specific formats. If that was gibberish for you, just think of it, we can take Admos or 5.1, stereo, whatever it may be and we can properly represent it in a different format and then we can even output the different formats simultaneously once we go to deliver buses can send to other buses currently it's up to six layers deep you can also expose the different buses on the timeline this functionality really aids in allowing incredibly complex and organized mixing scenarios and with that i think i'm going to stop there that's davinci resolve fairlight busing in three minutes give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one